guys! So Black Friday this year has a part two because I made a huge mistake and now I'm gonna fix it by getting more December ad revenue. But in this video, ads became my downfall. And yes, I did tweet about it, but then I deleted that tweet because I realized why share the boring news for free when I can monetize it? Please don't click off! There's tech destruction in this video! And more careless spending! So in the Black Friday vlog, I went on and on about how I was going to move on from Google Home to Alexa. And I even bought out a chunk of the store's Amazon stock. But I've only unboxed and had two Echo Shows plugged in next to Google Homes to see if I actually want to switch. And it made me realize that I don't. What's the main reason? Well, it's the overabundance of ads and sponsored posts on the Echo Shows. Ugh. I mean, what do they think they are? A YouTube video? Let me unbox and set up another Echo Show device to show you what I mean. Uh, let's do the Echo Show 15, the one I was pretty excited to buy. Ooh, come on. There's no better feeling than unboxing something, just knowing you're gonna return it. Ooh, I don't know if you can see, but it's like bulging out at the bottom, and I did not do anything to cause that. Amazon quality, let's go. Plug her in, and there we go. One thing I really hated about setting up the Echo Shows is that they force you to set it up on the device itself. So you have to manually enter your Wi-Fi password. I've checked this option before when I was setting up the other Echo Shows and it doesn't work. Let's see here. Wow, looks like an error screen. Once you save your Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon, we can configure your compatible devices so you won't need to re-enter your Wi-Fi passwords on each device. That is a lie because, yeah, it's still asking for my Wi-Fi password on this device now, even though, yeah, I've done it with multiple devices already. And it also makes you manually sign into your Amazon account each time. I'm glad this is the last time I'm gonna have to do this. Compared to the Google ones, they force set up with a phone, so it already knows your Wi-Fi password and Google sign-in, so it's way less painless. Ooh, daddy. Like, come on! I even deployed the Amazon Wi-Fi routers I also bought on Black Friday throughout the house, so setup couldn't even be a little bit more simpler with them? Can't even automatically set the time, Jesus Christ. I thought Amazon's supposed to know everything about you. Yeah, it's in the backyard. Of course it has to update. Don't worry, I'll get to the point soon. Eventually we'll get to the point. No Amazon product, I do not want to buy an Amazon product. No, I don't want that Amazon product either. No, I don't want that Amazon product either. <laughs> okay. And yep, there it is. The main reason and the point. The overabundance of ads. And this is new. On the smaller Echo Shows, there's no Fire TV icon. Oh, what the hell? I don't even have Fire TV. At first, I thought I bought a tiny electronic billboard, so I had to watch this video with this soy face to figure out how to disable these ads. I don't have a Fire TV! Let's see what ads come enabled out of the box. Yeah, that video recommended turning all of these off, and this isn't it. And on this device, you can just turn it right here, and... Uh, yep, you can see how much stuff you have to turn off. Oh, uh, And most of these are basically just advertisements. So, it's another tedious setup task to turn all of these off when setting it up out of the box. Ugh. It's harder on the smaller screens, I'll tell you that. But even after you turned everything off, you think all the ads are gone? Let's see. Okay, actually on this Echo Show, if you disable ads, I think it actually disables ads. But it comes with a bonus that if you want to see the time, date, and weather, you have to deal with this Fire TV icon on the home screen, and I looked through all the settings, and I don't think there's a way to disable this. Oh, I found the ads on this thing, because every time you unplug and plug it back in, it always brings up this Fire TV setup screen. But yeah, trust me, on the Echo Show 5 and the Echo Show 8, even though I disabled everything that looked like an ad, I still got occasional ads from... Are you smarter? Question of the day. Song Blast. Sleep Tales. Song Quiz. Bedtime Stories. Jeopardy. Rest in Peace. And Avatar 2. 
Look Here's at this. Skill song quiz. No, Evolve. I don't. Seems like this is the only Echo Show device that doesn't have ads except for that tumor in the corner. And I probably would have completed the ecosystem swap if ads didn't show up after I disabled them, but that's not the case. Aha! Caught in 4K! Go into the settings, everything's off, and there's still an ad. Ugh. I will not be advertised to in my own home. That's your guys' job. The Google ones also have ads, but you have to swipe a bit to see them, like right there. Oh no, that infested the Google Home ones too. But at least they won't randomly flash up and take up your entire screen throughout the day. Plus when I disabled all home content, it still flashes randomly like it really wants to show you ads, but can't. Like that, see? It hurts not to show ads. Except when one does get through despite all the home content being disabled. F*** you, Amazon! I don't want to play Jeopardy! Okay, so this one can't be returned. These Echo Shows also made me appreciate the Google ones more. They have way cooler clock faces. Like the one where the look changes based on the time of day and weather. But my favorite one is this animated frog that does different stuff during the day, and the environment changes also based on the time and weather. It's one of the reasons why I had second thoughts about switching over to Alexa. Also, I prefer Google's voice over Alexa's. Google's voice sounds nice and clear, while Alexa's sounds like she has a stuffy nose. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I also use YouTube Music, which isn't supported on Amazon Echoes, so it's kind of a no-brainer. So what made me want to switch in the first place? Well, the Google Homes aren't perfect either. They randomly restart at least once a day for some reason ever since I bought them two years ago, occasionally hear stuff wrong, or it takes multiple times to hear me, and sometimes when I ask one device something, several others that slightly hear me all respond and say that there's been an error and to try again. Hey Google, repeat after me. Something went wrong. <laughs> try again in a few seconds. Small annoyances, but still better than ads. It's 3 a.m., I'm hungry. Hey Google, what time does Jack in the Box close? Showing pictures that match. <sighs> Alexa, what time does Jack in the Box close? Jack in the Box on the Still better than being advertised to. Still better than being advertised to. Hey Google, play music. I can't do that here, but you can ask me to play it on one of your other devices. Apple, please make a HomePod with a screen! But I really snapped when Google decided to kill support for their security system right after I bought it two years ago. Despite sinking hundreds of dollars into it and extra accessories, I didn't mind too much because it was still working after it was discontinued until several months ago. It kept on saying there was a problem with cellular backup, so I tried factory resetting it to see if that would fix it, but it didn't. And when I called Brinks, the security company Google partnered with to provide professional monitoring and cellular backup to their security system, it turns out that Google recently ended their partnership with them, so that's why the cellular backup stopped working. And the best part was, since I factory reset the security system, and Google no longer works with Brinks, I couldn't reconnect my security system to the service I paid $30 a month for! And that's after several price increases over two years. And since I signed a three-year contract with Brinks, I had to argue with them over the phone for several days to get them to cancel it without charging me a cancellation fee that's almost the same amount as if I just continued paying the remaining months in the contract! Just remembering that entire experience is giving me second thoughts about not switching over to Alexa. So I bought this Brinks security panel to take out my anger on. Look at the power adapter it came with. You have to screw in these pitchforks yourself. Yeah, this seems safe. And I don't want to know what's under this shrink tubing. And look at the back of the panel. The motherboard is exposed and you gotta plug the power adapter in right there. After some googling, I found out that red is positive and blue is negative. Man, I hope that answer is right. Here goes nothing. 
Come on, boot up, boot up, boot up. Oh, there we go. Oh, sis, quality of life. Oh, great, it runs Android. Oh, we're in. Select ARM system type. It's... Oh. Select ARM system type. What the? Just tried to arm it. Brinks quality. Arming it just reset it. Come on, come on, I got places to be. Yeah, it's just boot looping now. This is how secure Brinks is. F you. See, if you choose Brinks, you get broken into more easily. I'm so glad I used the provided power supply and I didn't damage the system. And f you, Google, even though I work for you, for killing off a really good security system and making me have to deal with Briggs! And we can remove that pesky backup battery. Stadia customers got a refund, but we did it! You started all this! Once again, neighbor of the year. They work so well with each other. And these stupid sensors still go for $70 on eBay. Damn it! Despite all of that, I don't want to waste more money switching from my Google devices just to be advertised to, so I'm gonna return all of the Amazon stuff I bought and hope that Apple releases a HomePod with a screen in the future. Let's box them up and start the return process. What the? Alexa's vegan! I'm gonna return you now. Woo! Oh, here's another Echo Shill I took off its box, but I never got past its setup because I was too lazy to enter in the Wi-Fi password and my Amazon account again. Ah. Uh. And the final Alexa product I unboxed was this Echo Doll of Clock. And the only reason why is because I wanted to make sure I got the right color, because some genius at Amazon decided to release this in two similar colors and not say what color it is on the box anywhere. But it doesn't matter now. Kobe. Oh, here's some news that came out recently. Maybe I made the right choice. No wonder they were trying to force ads. Also, this was the only ring camera I unboxed, only to see if the wedge could put it at a good angle. But yeah, that doesn't matter anymore, cause yeah, Amazon, ring, no thank you. And finally, the Amazon Wi-Fi 6 routers I fully deployed will also be returned, because I haven't noticed a difference in speed from the non-Wi-Fi 6 Google routers. Luckily, I didn't jump the gun and do a factory reset on these, so all I have to do is just plug everything back in and it just works. Yay! Delete network. Yes. An Amazon company. Yeah, they're not gonna keep the data at all. Whoop. Whoop. Actually, I did a speed test at three different locations around the house before and after replacing the Wi-Fi 6 Amazon routers with the non-Wi-Fi 6 Google routers, and it turns out Wi-Fi 6 is a scam. Just like 5G. And done! Here's everything I'm returning. Mostly Amazon stuff. But not before I take the thumbnail shot! I'm returning the Dyson Vacuum 2 because it's the same Black Friday price on the Dyson website right now, and it comes with more stuff. Okay, done. Now let's get these in the trunk. Can't forget about my CVS receipts, except these have a reason to be this long. Perfect. All right, we're at my local Best Buy. Uh, wait, actually... All right, I drove to a Best Buy in a different state because way too many people in my local Best Buy watch my videos and I don't want to put them through that return process. 
Also to save myself the embarrassment. Need a cart. Oh, I don't know if this is a good part of town, so I better hurry up. Oh. Whatever, we made it. All right. That's it. All right, that's it. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Oh. Wait, why did I take an empty cart outside to put it back into the cart corral when I could have just put it inside? Oh my god, I'm tired. Yes! No more Amazon! Except I really want that robot. Please send me an invite, Amazon. Alright, we're at another Best Buy to do the reckless spending because that employee did not sound happy to do all those returns. I don't blame her, and I'm also sure that security saw me filming. <laughs> yeah, this Best Buy is probably in a not so good area. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so the awkward thing is that despite not having to switch to a different ecosystem, for a special announcement I'll make later on, I have to buy more Google stuff to replace some of the Amazon stuff I returned. You'll see why soon. I already started by getting this Google thermostat worth $130 at a pawn shop for $20. I talked them down, and it's brand new! Wow! I also got this Nest Mini at a thrift store for $10. Wow, and there's a hair right there. And shout out to my YouTube partner manager who sent me this $100 Nest Audio for free as a gift. This was delivered as a surprise when I was still thinking about switching to Alexa, so I kind of lied to her and said that I was enjoying it when it's still sealed. But now, I'll actually be enjoying it soon. Thanks! So let's do Black Friday Part 2. With these! Yeah, I got six gift cards from the last Best Buy because there was a $500 return limit on each gift card. This is so much better than flexing cash in the car! Need another cart! Ooh, maybe I'll do some GTA 5 while I'm here too! Alright, it's the next day and I'm back at the other Best Buy here to do my reckless spending because the other Best Buy didn't have an item I wanted. Also, I was only joking about that Best Buy being in a bad area. But when I went inside, I saw that at least 50% of the products had security tags on them. I've never seen any other Best Buy have that many security tags before. So yeah, I think it's better if I shop at this Best Buy. First up, some Nest Hubs. Four. Most of the Google stuff is still on sale, so it's gonna kinda be like Black Friday. Yes! Some of the bigger boys, too. Mm. Yes! Some Wi-Fi. Last one, too. A Nintendo Switch? No, a Netgear Switch. Ah, Sonos Rome. Not the SL, though. Gross. Yeah, this Best Buy is a bit more lax with the security tags. Some of the same products have one and some don't. Like, let's steal the one that does have the security tag. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I broke off this tag with my cart. Just put that right there. Good as new. Let's get whatever this thing is. And let's get whatever these are. Ooh. A little Philips Hue wouldn't hurt anybody. And, ugh, never mind about the whole lack security thing. I need some stuff in there, so let's hide you in here. What are we getting? Can I get two of those, please? Two of those, okay. Three of the, three the of wired those. wired cameras, okay. Yes. One of that. Okay. And, eh, why not? Can I get the MetaQuest Pro, please? During customer service, you just have to go right in there, and then they'll give it to you that. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, why not? And I'm sorry about this, but can I do these? Yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. He's letting me pull my car to the front to load it. Smart, despite this being a good area.
All right, thank you very much. No hmm, have a nice night. You too. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yes, success, considering I didn't get robbed at gunpoint. All right, I would say what this stuff is for, but this video has gone on long enough. And so with that, take it away, Google. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.